Uh, that's a lot of smoke. That's a lot of smoke coming out of the engine. Hopefully that's not a problem. So today I'm just going to quickly do a compression test on the engine. Um, I guess it's the one thing I need to double check before we start stripping the bike down. Uh, is the engine good enough to stay on and go back on or do we need to do work on the engine first? So um, busy running it up now, getting it nice and warm and uh, once it's at operating temperature we'll take out the spark plugs and uh, do a compression test. Hopefully we get uh, reasonable figures, fingers crossed. Okay, so this cover's got to come off first. Is that the right size? It is. I picked the right size. <laughs> Okay, looks alright to me. Let's get them out. One, two, well, at least they're coming off easily. So there's no corrosion to speak of. They're coming off by hand. This one's a bit hard. There we go. This is where the existing toolkit comes to to be helpful. That came out of the bike, and uh, pretty sure that's what I need. Okay. Yep. Perfect. There's one, let's have a look. Don't know if it'll focus that. Okay. That doesn't look too bad to me. Hmm. I think that looks okay. Let's just remember which order they came in. Okay. Don't know if it'll focus, but. That looks, looks okay as well. Okay. Third one. This one's a little bit carbony, but only very, very slightly. Come on, focus. Last one. Same as the other one. This one's a little bit... Yeah, a bit more carbon on the last two, or the first two, whichever they are. But in general, I think they look okay. So, I'm using this baby. Okay, just to match them up. Wow. It's actually the smallest one. No, it's not. Hopefully it's that one. We shall see. How do I do all of this at the same time? Unless I just hold it up like that. There we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, much better, but still not great. That is... 140. Call it 143, so it's still low. Hmm, 130. This one's also 143, so at least they're the same. Okay, try one more time. 
on cylinder four. Okay, also 140, 143. Goodness me, they're almost identical, all of them. Except for the first one, which I have to try again. My dude. Okay, fingers crossed. Nope. This time I get 133, so it's 10 different. Interestingly enough, looking at the spark plug number one, it's darker and blacker, more sooty or carbonated or whatever than the others. And that's showing up in the compression test. Okay, so I had a quick call and a chat to Dean at Bike Maintenance. Um, they're BMW repair specialists and they've helped me with my GSs and they've been very good. Dean is a great guy. Um, I asked him about the compressions, 143 on three cylinders, 133 on the fourth cylinder or the first cylinder. Um, he said it's okay, um, you know, it, it would be ideal to be 160, 143 is fine, 133 on the other one probably needs to be looked at at some point, um, but I should only be worried if I was like, like near 100 or under 100, then that's an issue. And as long as the bike feels okay and it's riding fine, not an issue. It's, it's you know, it could be carbon buildup, it could be um, not the right um, amount of energy coming from the coil, it could be this, the ring, it could be valve clearances. So there's so many different things it could be. He said, sounds fine, ride the bike, enjoy the bike. When, when it comes in after the build, he'll have a look at it. So that's encouraging. Um, I was concerned, but what do I know? So, um, so thanks Dean. We will continue. What have I done? What have I done? Three hours later. Okay. 
Okay, I've broken something. Two thousand years later. Okay, crisis averted, it's all fixed. Um, <laughs> I was a bit silly. Um, I put uh, I put the coil, the leads on in the wrong order, not a dummy. So um, uh, basically when I pulled them out, I put them sort of in order of length. So I just assumed that I would go back in order of length. But what I did do mistakenly is the first two had very similar lengths and they got entwined. And when I was pulling, <laughs> This one became shorter than this one, and so they went the wrong way around. So I had misfiring, mis misordering. No wonder the damn bike didn't fire up. So as soon as I'd figured that out, I had to take this off and um, just follow to the, to the coils uh, and trace which one was which, which one's one, four, two, three, and I figured out what I'd done wrong, and uh, now it all works. So, um, yeah, let me just double check. <coughs> Even in its uh, fully fared original state, it's still an attractive uh, motorcycle, I think. Mm -hmm.